Hey guys, it's Cora Ross and welcome to Six News. Today we're going to go through some leaks which might be of the Australian operators for Rainbow Six Siege in Year 4, Season 1. Now I'm going to take you from the start to the finish. Uh, this is the finished image we're going to get to, but let's start from where this leaks all began. So this started yesterday with this post on Reddit and it had nothing to back it up at all. But it said that the next operators were going to be Mozai and Gridlock, Australian operators. Now, Gridlock was going to be an attacker and he can put down a red web tracker that when defenders run into it, they get damaged and make noise. So, basically, barbed wire on the attacking side. I could totally see that being a thing they've kind of gone at in Romer with quite a few operators. So, maybe it's kind of like a lesion, but on the attackers. But I don't know. And Mozai is a defender and she can put down a device that when an enemy drone goes into it, she can take control of it. That's pretty interesting. So basically a mute jammer, but it would grab drones and allow her to take control of them. Um, I think it's quite a basic gadget, but it would work really well. And of course, knowing where people are is a massive thing in Rainbow, so it'd probably be a very powerful gadget. And also they say that Season 2 will have the map Canal rework. So that'd be Season 2, not the Australian season. Now that came from a post on Reset Era. Now, uh, of course, there'll be links in the description to go check out all these links and see what you think yourself. But moving on, we have this post on Reddit, which is the Australian Operators leak. And this is an actual picture. Now, it doesn't reveal much, and it could be the Australian Operators from Six Siege, but it really doesn't show much, does it? Then as I was making this very video, we got another post on Reddit showing a full menu picture. So this appears to be the same image, but someone has gone over the white with some black to take off even more things. So what I've done is I've cleaned this up. I've gone and photoshopped out that kind of watermark they've been removing just to clean it up, give you guys a clean shot. But I don't know. It looks, a, it looks like a pretty crap menu system, but it could be an in-development menu. It's got some believable stuff like the Play Fortress, that is how I think it would probably be the case that they're, you know when they're in development it still have the old names and everything. Of course it's got the Australian flag and then it has a picture of what looks to be potentially a scrapyard perhaps as the map. But is it real? This is the thing. Because it certainly looks good. It could be a really good fake. Um, it could be made in something else. Added all the kind of menu items from Rainbow on top and it can be made to be re relatively believable. I would point one thing out, and that is the female's hitbox. She's big. She is big, and that doesn't just look like armor. She looks like she's got some size to her, right? It's not just the position she's in. I think she is a really big girl. And the guy with the helmet on, I don't know, it's weird. Like, it does seem somewhat believable, for sure. It definitely has parts that are potentially real about it. So what do you guys think? You know, is this a leak of the new season? Or is it a well-fabricated fake? You guys, let me know. And thanks very much for watching, guys. And I'll catch you next time.